Are you interested in what Okanagan Lake has to offer in resort properties? In this third video of our three-part series, we're going to have a look at those and we're starting right now. I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Fowler, and in this third part of our three-part series, we're going to look at all the resort developments on Okanagan Lake. In our first two videos, we looked at all the townhouses, so the Bearland Strata and the apartments, and now we're going to look at the more resort-type properties. Before we do that, though, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video as we're posting new videos every single week, and we would love to have you as a subscriber. On this channel, we give you the straight goods on Vernon and the North Okanagan and the whole Okanagan, our ultimate Four Seasons paradise. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or just curious about the area that we call home, be sure to call, text, or email, and just add salt. Let's get right into it. And first and foremost, we have to talk about the Outback. The Outback is right next to Ellison Provincial Park and encompasses 60 acres of woodlands on the shores of Okanagan Lake. It's on the outskirts of Vernon, so you're around 20 minutes from the city centre or so, almost at the very end of East Side Road. And the cool part about the Outback is it's zoned R6, which allows for nightly rentals and has an on-site management company that is currently rocking it in the vacation rental game. They take a percentage, of course. However, they look after absolutely everything. You don't have to do a thing. It's just total worry-free, hassle-free rental. All you have to do is worry about cashing the check. The Outback has five main neighborhoods with many different styles and floor plans and price ranges of units. And there should be something for everyone from two bedroom Trout Lake units to three or four bedroom Ridge homes overlooking the lake and all sorts of different price ranges. Of the five neighborhoods, we have units in South Bay. South Bay units are situated close to South Bay Beach, I guess that's obvious, where besides the beach area, you'll also find a nice big green space, pool, hot tub, plus access to the new and improved Outback Marina that was fairly recently rebuilt by a group of private Outback investors. The second neighborhood is around the second bay at the Outback, which is Quarry Bay. That's where there is a currently a number of water access only buoys to park your boat. It also is where the first marina was before it was smashed to smithereens by the winds. There's a boardwalk along the water, access from the parking area via a very cool glass fronted elevator, and an even cooler man-made cave leading to a fire pit area, sitting area, all for the residents of the Outback. Then when we move up to the Trout Lake units, these are smaller and the most affordable, generally, of all the units. The Trout Lakes consist of four plexes and duplexes. They're either two bedrooms or three bedrooms. Up here is where you'll find tennis courts, the man-made Trout Lake, a second pool, and also a third hot tub. Then around kind of the perimeter are freestanding single units called forest cabins. And it, they're around the kind of the forested area of the Outback, hence the name. They're mostly three bedroom, three bathroom units that include a one bedroom, one bath casita, although the odd one is only two bedrooms with no casita. They often come with more privacy than you would normally get if you had an attached unit. And that's why people like the forest cabins for sure. Then the last of the Outback floor plans are the Ridge Homes, which are mostly located on the ridge overlooking the lake with beautiful views. These are the largest of the floor plans at the Outback and are either freestanding or duplexes. And they have the coolest of the architectural features with the floor to ceiling windows and they're kind of hanging out over the rocks and they take the best advantage of the lake views for sure, bar none there unbelievable. The Outback also features a secured gated entrance as well and there's an owner's lodge where the Outback management company works out of for rentals etc and there's a fitness center and playground there too. The second at 7343 Okanagan Landing Road, the Strand, we talked about in our last video so I won't talk about it very much here. However because it is an apartment complex plus it has the ability to be rented out nightly, I kind of had to include it in both videos. So again, one, two and three bedroom apartment condo units, 
105 units in total on five floors, in-ground pool, hot tub in the courtyard area, plus a full dock and 260 feet of private beach on the lake. Now moving on, apparently this project is being built on the 16 acres right next door to the Strand. It's called Port Okanagan or The Port at 7295 Okanagan Landing Road and 2525 Lakeshore Road. The Port is a mixed-use development that was recently approved through the City of Vernon Council. Although it still needs to go through public approval as well as many other hoops before any building can actually start. The development proposal includes a waterfront hotel as well as residential and commercial development with a conference center, park space and improved public waterfront access. While also apparently it protects the sensitive wetland area, that's pretty much bog in there. It's also proposed that the development consists of a mix of low rise to mid rise buildings up to 10 stories above grade with underground parking structures as well as at grade parking. Apparently 45% of the property would be a protected riparian area with open green space and park, which I personally think is extremely important for that area. This is a long way away, however it is in progress and does have the support of Vernon City Council. Then just a few steps farther down Lakeshore Road, 2555 Lakeshore Road is Vita Resort Residences. Now this is a nearly brand new development that was completed in 2021 with 103 units with compact suites. They're all bachelor suites, just over 300 square feet. There's a gym, an outdoor pool, pickleball court, barbecues, storage locker, car charging stations. The building is technically located across the street from the water, across from a private access and just a few steps from Lakeshore Beach and Park. And I know I'm stretching it a bit to say it's waterfront because it technically is not. However, it does have all the other pieces of a resort property. It can be rented out nightly, and it was in fact built for exactly that, to be like an Airbnb place. They were sold fully furnished and turnkey, and so I wanted to take at least a few seconds to mention it here. The parking is open, there's no age restrictions here, no rental restrictions, and pets are allowed, one dog and one cat, or two dogs or two cats, none of which can be more than 25 pounds, and no dangerous breeds allowed. Now we're gonna head around to the west side of Lake Okanagan and we're going to go to La Casa Cottage Resort. La Casa spans the hillside overlooking Lake Okanagan. It's approximately 40 minutes or so outside of Vernon and 30 minutes north of West Kelowna. It's set up as a resort and you can live there almost full time but not quite. You have to have the place available for rent a minimum of one night per month. These little cottages that started being built in 2006 up until right now, present day, they're still being built, are all single family detached homes with one to three bedrooms and many have killer lake views and everyone gets access to the beach with its seasonal aqua park and water trampolines, the marina, plus the two seasonal outdoor pools and three hot tubs, volleyball, two tennis courts, mini golf, and even a group barbecue picnic area. Kayaks and paddle boards are also apparently available for rent there. There are trails right behind the resort for hiking, biking and ATVing, which is also cool. And the guest house called La Casa Mirador is also available if you need to accommodate a wedding, a corporate meeting or some other large event. La Casa has 477 lots in total. Rentals are allowed, however, no pets, I'm afraid. And I'm afraid we've come to the last video in our series. If you would like to know more about what townhouses and apartments and resort properties or options for purchase on the north end of Okanagan Lake, please watch videos one and two in this series and also make sure to download our free Vernon relocation package. The link is below. Thanks so much for watching.